welcome to Medical Dialogues. I'm Anshika Mishra. Let's look at today's top medical news. Atrial fibrillation more prominent in younger people find study. According to a study published in Circulation, Arrhythmia and Electrophysiology, atrial fibrillation, a common type of arrhythmia that is on the rise of people under the age of 65, is more dangerous in the increasingly younger population than previously thought. Atrial fibrillation disrupts the heart's rhythm, leading to irregular and often faster heartbeats. This can cause blood to pool in the heart chamber, increasing the risk of blood clots and stroke. It can also weaken the heart muscle over time, leading to heart failure and other cardiovascular complications. Complications. In the study, researchers analyzed electronic health records from 67,221 participants from the UPMC Heart and Vascular Institute seeking care for atrial fibrillation from 2010 through 2019 and found that more than a quarter of them were under the age of 65. Are you also aspiring to excel in medical journalism and delve into the intricacies of health and medical reporting? Explore our comprehensive course on medical and health journalism available at the Medical Dialogues Academy. Learn from industry experts who possess in-depth knowledge and experience in this field. For further details, scan the QR code provided or access the link in the description box below. The team also found that over the course of a decade, survival rates for those with arrhythmia were 1.3 and 1.5 times worse for men with atrial fibrillation and 1.82 to 3.16 times worse for women, compared to similarly aged patients who do not have atrial fibrillation. The patients studied also had high rates of cardiovascular disease risk factors, including smoking, obesity, hypertension and sleep apnea, which contribute to damaging structural and electrical changes in the heart over time. Common knowledge among cardiologists is that in people under 65, atrial fibrillation is extremely uncommon and not detrimental. But there hasn't been any data to back that up, said lead author Dr. Aditya Bonsale, MD, MHS, a UPMC cardiac electrophysiologist in HBI's Division of Cardiology. The findings suggested that patients with atrial fibrillation aged less than 65 years have significantly comorbidity burden and considerable long-term mortality. They're also at a significantly increased risk of hospitalization for heart failure, stroke and myocardial infraction. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for more updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe, and press the bell icon.